With the elections of the Athletics Association of Guyana just over two weeks away, current president Aubrey Hudson is confident that the clubs will return him to the post. I'm a servant to the sport. I serve it for the past four years. I am open and ready to serve it for another four years. But this depends on the clubs who think that I've done a good enough job and would like to see me back there. Or if they think that there's someone else in the fray that may be able to do a better job than I did, I'm willing to put them. I'm willing to support that process. I'm not here to campaign for the office of president because it's no easy work. It takes away a lot of time from what I have to do for my business here. But I'm always willing to serve the sport. Um, I think from discussion with the club so far, I think uh, I have favorable response from most of them. I haven't spoken to all of them. Um, but the nomination process and the person who collects the nomination is the general secretary. And I think until she pronounces, I mean, if there are any challenges other than myself um, or other persons who are willing to serve other than myself, I would not know that until she opened those letters and, and, and deal with them. Nevertheless, Hudson, who has come under some criticism during his tenure, which started in January 2013, asked his critics to be honest about the job he has done. The people who may not necessarily support me personally or in my style, um, I ask them to look back at one thing. Has this president not given his all? And all that any other president or more than any other president would have given to this sport in terms of time um, and, and, and kind. Also, I think I've been a president for the athletes. I was never about the people who sit in the office and want to enjoy a drink over discussion, discussing athletics. I'm there to ensure that the promotion of the athlete is paramount because without them, we, we, we are nothing. If you're not on that wagon, if you're not on that same train that says the athlete come first, then you and I will never see eye to eye. And, and I think sometimes that, that's where the differences would come. Uh, people think that we're not doing enough for, for other people involved in the sport. Um, but I've always been about athlete first, athlete first, anything else come after. Meanwhile, Hudson also identified what was the trademark of his administration over the past four years at the helm of athletics. At least we've been able to eradicate one thing, and one thing that has been an eyesore in athletics all the time is our ability to travel, our ability to go to competition. For the past four years, we have not had to give not one athlete a letter to go there to seek sponsorship once they're selected to represent this country. I think if for nothing else, um, we have done great in that area. Um, sometimes it requires, um, as I said, financial wizardry. Sometimes it requires me putting in my personal finances. But by and large, the IAAF and Consulate have shown confidence in the program that we've set out. The things that we've been doing, our accounts are above board. So they've been supporting us in a very tangible way. In addition, the AAG boss shared his plans for the future once he returns as president of the association. As it relates to our, our plans moving forward as well, um, we, we want to look at, at our senior athletes because they're the ones who are crying out the most that we don't necessarily have a program for our senior athletes. The, the options that the senior athletes have out there right now, based on the landscape of track and field, is either you join the army or the police force in order if you want to continue an athletic career or seek a scholarship. We want to change that. We want to have the tertiary institutions be involved more meaningfully in track and field. So we're going to start negotiations with the Univ University of Guyana, the Cyril Potter College of Education, the technical institutions, for us to have a, a, a sport at that level. So when a 16, 17-year-old leaves high school early, um, he does not necessarily have to run into the army or the police force if he wants to continue his athletic career, but he can go to a high institution of learning and still reach a very good athletic program. So we're working on that. The AAG's elections will be held on January 22nd, where nine clubs will have the opportunity to either re-elect or elect a new president for another four-year term. Tristan Joseph, Newsroom Sport.